Welcome to my private salon. I consider this my private studio. When we first did the salon, this whole basement was four walls, concrete walls, concrete floor. So I'm going to start with the floor. I was just at Menards tonight and I did see some of this flooring that I have. It's ceramic tile. It's a burlwood pattern. We purchased it in Chicago at a place known as Hobo. It's some type of home discount center. One thing I will tell you is if you go there for flooring, make sure you buy everything, every box of whatever you pick out because they do not repeat. So when we finished this salon floor, we had exactly one tile left. So I'm glad we did grab everything they had. So let me start with some of the furnishings in my salon. Now, as you all may know, I, I'm frugal. I'm frugal to the point to I know exactly how much gas to put in my car every week. I know how much gas I use per month. I don't go past it. Okay, let's start with some of my furnishings. Let's start with the dryer. Okay, dryer number one. We have the dryer, the chair, and we have an ottoman right in front of it. Ottoman, Walmart, dryer, eBay, brand new chair, still has a tag on it, I do believe, yes it does, $60. $60, the Ottomans were 10 clearance last Christmas. Now I go in tonight, they're back up to the regular price, same item. Dryer number two. I'm not quite, okay, well I paid $175 for the dryer and the chair and for this styling chair. It came together at a garage sale down the street from me. Okay, let's go back. We have the Ottoman, we have the fridge, Walmart, Apple TV in the corner, Walmart, no, Best Buy, but they have it at Walmart. The three LO podiums, they have three more to match. I just use those for display purposes. I can make them different configurations of them. Um, those were in the garage when I moved in here. He had them already, so I, no, no price, no charge. Now, this is the only, in my whole career, this is the only new item I've ever purchased for myself. Everything else has always been secondhand. And this is a chair that I use for waxing, lashes, brows, whatnot. So that chair cost me $175. The vase in the back used to be purple, and I spray painted it. Something I found upstairs we didn't use anymore, so I brought it downstairs, threw a little floral design in, went right ahead, spray painted, now it's down here. Okay, there's the chair, there's a stool I sit on when I'm doing extensions tomorrow. I have two strand by strand clients coming in, and I will be using that stool. Okay, my station. Stations can get costly. I purchased a rolly cart a few years ago at Sally's for about $60. This is one of their larger ones. It has wire racks on the side so I can hang like towels or irons or dryers or whatnot over the edge of them. So I paid about 60 bucks. Now I work with the oven. It's sitting on the side down there. I you put my Marcel irons in it. Now, I can't sit the iron on top of the station alone, so I went to Walmart, spent another $12, purchased a cutting board, placed it on top. Now I have my dual purpose station. It works like a charm. It has been for about seven years now. Now my waxing and facial station, Walmart, I think it was 35, 37 bucks. I'm not sure. Um, the canisters, Walmart, of course. Uh, then I keep my lashes, brows, chemical peel items, and all that stuff inside of there. Let's see what else. Let's go over to the nail station. First of all, I have so much nail polish. 